Welcome to Synagogues of Israel, Part 27. This is our second look at the Jewish houses of worship in the Mavaseret Tzion area of Israel. This first synagogue is Beit HaKnesset Ezra HaSofer. It honors the memory of Ezra, who was a scribe who helped return the Jews living in exile in Babylonia back to Israel after the first great exile. This next one is Beit Knesset Kol Yaakov, named in memory of Yaakov Adri. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of publicities on most of these synagogues, so all we can do here is primarily document their existence. This synagogue is called Dati Lumi. Dati Lumi is an expression commonly used in Israel referring to right-wing Jews who are nationalistic. This synagogue is located in Harnof, which is a further southwest outpost of Jerusalem that is not far away from Mivaser Tzion. The spiritual leader of the synagogue community is Rabbi Rafi Forstein. The second line on the building it reads Maor Yisrael, and directly below it it reads Beit HaMedrash Ohel Sara. Beit HaMedrash means a study hall, and Ohel Sara, or the tent of Sarah, or Sarah's tent, would be its name. The large letters on the signage to the left read Shalom V'Achdut, which is peace and brotherhood. The top line reads Mostot Beit Yitzchak, which is the Beit Yitzchak organization or foundation. This building is also in the general area of the Datil Umi building. We're not sure if these two operations are just sharing the same neighboring facility or are connected. There are also several branches of an Ohel Sara organization located throughout Israel that is basically a community center for young people with disabilities. Then there's this Harel Synagogue, which is located not far from Mivaser Tzion. Finally, on this trip, we're looking at Oel Avraham Nachlat Tzvi. This synagogue is located in Kiryat Ya'arim, which again is not far from Mivaseret, and its spiritual leader is Rabbi Mordechai Kuber. He's probably also identified as being a part of the Tells Stone community. We recognize that there are several more Jewish houses of worship in the Mivaseret Zion area, but when they're shy on publicity, it's difficult to find them out and to show both exterior and interior pictures of the facility. So, it's on to our next location in Israel. Bye for now, and see you real soon.